Stampers. It's Gigi with Stamp Fanatics. And today I've got some packaging ideas for you. Um, I didn't do a packaging class, but I'm doing a tag class, a Christmas tag class tomorrow. And this is the time when I like to give all my customers that come to my classes um, just, you know, some surprises along the way. And so we'll have little bells and whistles going off or a prize patrol and I'll be giving away some fun little gifts and so you know me it's all about the packaging too so what I started with because we're all in a crunch and we're all looking for time at Christmas these plain white craft um, white and craft bags that we can all get at dollar store or at your hobby store well I'm going to turn these and then some of our other products from that into something really special so for the first one I have, I have this white bag, but it was too plain. So of course I'm gonna decorate it up. And my bags are five by eight, and I did cut this designer paper, and this is from um, this Christmas, which is in the annual catalog. Don't forget about it. It's really got great prints in there. Anyway, so I cut it five by eight and put it, glued it down on the bag, and I use tear and tape because I run a really strong adhesive so that this paper won't come back up. And then I took my layering circles and I used um, the real red in the scalloped. I used the garden green for my circle. And then I went back to a scallop in whisper white. And the stamp set I used is the tin of tags. It has so many great sayings in it. And for this one I used spread some Christmas cheer. And it just made the bag really go, you know, look real cute. But I thought, well, wait a minute. There's one more thing I'd like to do to it. And so I had my Santa punch out because we're using it on our tags. And I went ahead and in real red, I punched out his hat. And then, I don't know if you can see the, the sparkle, but I used Dazzling Diamond Glimmer Paper for the little trim on his hat. I took our real red stitched ribbon because I just love this ribbon. It's been, I've just used it so much this season. But anyway, um, just to tie off my bag. And of course, there's some kind of a goodie in there that they'll win. So that's what I'm doing for my first bag. All right. And then I took the craft color bag and I just did our candy cane lane designer paper. Again, I cut it five by eight. And then I took our red uh, dazzling uh, red glimmer paper, sorry, and that I cut five by two and a half. I used one of our doilies, and then I took our gingerbread and I, I used this stamp set a lot too this season, and this is it here. And I used the little gingerbread man. And what I did was I punched out two of them. First, I did it in ink and I used crumb cake, and then I punched them out using the cute little cookie cutter punch. This makes everything so easy and fast. And to decorate, I needed a little boy and a girl, so I took the bow from that punch, which is right here, and I used it in the red glimmer paper again to bring it up and use it for a bow for the boy and a little bow on the hair for the girl. I made the same little Santa, I used the punch again, and I did red glimmer paper here and the white dazzling diamonds over there just to give it some more sparkle, because at the holidays, if you know me, I'm all about the bling. So I like to sparkle and I like to have bling on my, on my projects. And then again, I used the red stitch ribbon just because I absolutely love it. So that was another one that we came up with. All right, and then I've got this one. And this one I used the candy cane lane. I used this little candy cane and I also used the peppermint for these little embellishments down here. I used the candy cane lane designer paper that I just cut a strip. So let me give you my measurements. Again, I took this five by eight bag, so I cut it at five by eight, my designer paper. Then I cut the white piece, which is the Dazzling Diamond. I did five, and then I did by two and three quarters. I wanted to leave a little bit of a border for the sparkle. And then I cut the designer paper, let's see, five by two and a quarter. Let's see if I'm telling you right. Yes, this was five by two and three quarters, and then I cut this down to five by two and a quarter. So you have a little bit of a quarter inch on each end there and I just glued it down. I didn't really do too much there. I took the little peppermint and I, I stamped it and uh, real red, 
I also stamped the candy cane in real red. And then I took my little half inch punch and I just punched those two out. And then this one I did fussy cut because there is no framelit or anything for that. So I just cut it out, but it was real fast. And then for my dazzling diamond paper, this one is the one inch punch, circle punch that we had. And this is also the one and a quarter. It's a little bit bigger, but that just makes this, this little present sparkle. I hope you can see it. Let me try to get my lights more on it, just sparkle it up. And then I used to bring some brown back up here. I used some of my retired burlap ribbon. I still have it. If you have the newer ribbon, go ahead and use that. I use everything up this time of year. So that is what I did for this one. Let's see. And then I also added some rhinestones over the snow just to give it a little more sparkle. And I think that's everything on that one. Okay. And then, okay, this one I used Candy Cane Christmas. And I used this greeting this time that says Christmas Treats for You. And on this one, I went back to the other paper. I used a craft bag, and then I used this Christmas, and this reminds me of a sweater, so I just thought that was kind of cute to go with the craft bag. And I also layered my squares. I used a scallop one here, and I used uh, the garden green for just the plain square that isn't scalloped. And don't be afraid to change it up. I've made mine in kind of a diamond pattern. Instead of always layering it square after square after square, change it up and it just gives it a different look. And then I even added a circle framelit with the scallops because I just didn't want to do another square. So be creative. If you have those layering framelits, they're wonderful. You can mix and match them and they really just work great. And then I went ahead and stamped my saying in um, Cherry Cobbler and I took one of those bows from the little cookie cutter punch and I just added a little bow and a few rhinestones and you've got a great package. And then here I added again some more just retired ribbon I had around the house which was um, the cherry cobbler and then also the burlap just to bring it all back together. And I think that makes a really nice package. And then let's see, I've got one more. And this one I changed up. I have these wonderful brown craft bags that I absolutely love. I saw this on Pinterest. This isn't my idea, but I did change up the um, saying a little bit because it's another stamp set that I really want, really like. All right, so I took the craft bag and I embossed it with the Cable Knit 3D. This is just a wonderful um, embossing folder. And I ran the bag through that and it just really kind of embosses the whole thing. And then I took some of my green Envy, Emerald Envy ribbon and just did it on the front. I put a strip of my tearing tape to hold it so it really adheres down. And then I tied a little bow and I just added it on with a glue dot. And then this is another set that has great sayings. This is my hero. We had this out in the fall and I've used this on other cards for, you know, get well and things. But here there's also a Christmas saying, you put the Mary in my Christmas. So I brought that out again and I decided that I would do this in real red. I used the red glimmer paper on the back with the scallop die, just a hint of it shows. And then I did the garden green, or is this emerald? Wait a minute, let me look at my notes. Emerald green, sorry, cardstock. And then I put the whisper white on top and I did that ink with real red to bring the red back up again. And I just layered that with our layering circles and look what a cute bag and gift that makes. And there's a cute little gift in there too. So that's my ideas for today. I hope you enjoyed some of these and make sure you start thinking about what you're gonna do when you package up your gifts. And we have ways of making them look so cute. I mean, look at these, these are adorable. Who wouldn't wanna win these? So whoever's coming tomorrow is gonna be really surprised when they see all these great bags that they get to keep and then the goodies that are inside them. So I hope you have a wonderful holiday and I'll be talking to you soon. Thank you. Ooh.